WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny, pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. Well, it's partly sunny. Right now, we got uh, all U.S. indices, basically all U.S. indices trading the upside. The NASDAQ 100 is down 50 cents out there. So we'll call that flat. The Dow is flat. It's up two points. S&P is up five. Russell's up 14, seven tenths percent of a move up there. The semis are up nine points. You've got gold trading up 22 bucks. Silver's up 24 cents. Light Street Crude is up a buck 30. You've got the U.S. dollar index that's up slightly out there. 30-year treasuries up six ticks. Uh, natural gas is basically flat out there. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin the ES Mini upper left-hand side. We get a close today about 53.2275. There will no longer be a topping pattern. It will negate that Rhodes momentum indicator top. That's a real possibility with the spot volatility still below its 50-day exponents moving average. The 50 days at 13.76. Spot printing out at 13.01. The NASDAQ, NQ out there, has got a Rhodes momentum indicator top, and price has basically been trading sideways. It remains above the top of its daily profile. So overall, it's a neutral type signal. The U.S. dollar index earlier in the day trying to take out that TD nine count top. In order to do that, you need to see a close above 10419 out there. Goldilocks is trying to take out its TD nine count top, and that needs a close today above 222330. If we get that, that's going to signal that gold wants to make its move to the 2327 level. That would be the one to one A to B equals CD projection level. In the case of silver, just a good old fashioned consolidation with inside profile level support at 2434. I'm sorry, 2436. Resistance up at 2551. If we take a look at Lightspeed Crude, it's trying Trying to break out. In order to do that, you need to see a close above the top of that profile, 8312. In the case of natural gas, what you don't see here, it has triggered Rhodes momentum indicator signal. It negated its by the D point pattern. So that's going to require another bullish reversal candidate to confirm its next pattern out there. And the 30 year Treasury looks like it wants to go target that 120.23 to 121.04 level. Wow, we got through that really quick out there. Um, if we take a look at what the uh, Equity futures are doing in other major currencies out here with new all-time highs as we speak in terms of euros, in terms of pounds. The same thing is true for the Dow equity future contract, making new all-time highs today in terms of those two currencies. Well, guess what? They're not sellers over there, so be careful on the short side. Even though we've got those sell signals on the daily time frame charts, they just simply haven't taken hold. In fact, the Russell 2000, all it needs to do today is close above. Let me give you that number. A close of 2146. We're at 2151 right now. Negates this TD9 cut top and says we head higher. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. Markets are closed tomorrow, so we'll see you back again on Monday. Take care.